Stand up. Let's lift our hands to the King of Kings. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Nathan, if you can give us that A. And I think there's a CD playing. I think there's a CD playing. Maybe turn the CD off, Vince. Thank you. Yeah, there's a CD going, though. We can't. Yeah, there we go. All right. Thank you, Father. Lord, we just position our hearts and our minds to worship you in spirit and in truth. King of kings and Lord of lords, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, anointed one, holy one, great one, overwhelm us with your goodness and your power today. We position our hearts and our minds full throttle for you, Jesus. Thy will be done, thy kingdom come in our midst. Let the train of your temple fill, train of your robe fill this temple, God as we worship you, all for you, Jesus. It's all for you, Jesus. I feel it in my bones, you're about to move. I feel it in the wind, you're about to ride in. You said that you would pour your spirit out. You said that you would fall on our sons and daughters. So come. So come. So come. Lord Jesus, come. So come. Feel it in my bones. Verse 1. Feel it in my bones. I feel it in the wind you're about to ride in. You said that you would pour your spirit out. You said that you would fall on a sun from Dalton.
Let's all join, guys. Come on. Come and blow. Is this your heart? All through. Come and do. What all? Let's all petition him, saints. So come and blow. All through. seeing a picture of sails right now in sail ships. And just as a, a sailor has to set the tack just right to catch the wind, God, we pray you would retune us right now. You would put the uh, sail of our hearts and our spirits just in the right place to catch optimal wind. To catch optimal wind, God, we position ourselves right now we fix our eyes on Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of our faith, and we say, so come and blow on through. Shout. 
treasure in you Jesus thank you Lord for the treasure you are you're the pearl of great price our master our maker our savior our everything thank you Lord what a treasure we found in you what a joy we found what a savior God Like a ring of solid gold, like a vow that is tested, like a covenant of old. Your love is enduring through the winter and the rain and beyond the horizon. The mercy for the day. Makes us 
toe And you shoulder our weakness And your strength becomes our own You're making me like you Clothing me in white Bringing beauty from our shells For you will always have your bride Faithful you have been And rid of all her shame
Holy Ghost. We're in awe of you, Jesus. Holy Ghost. Increase your presence in this place. Increase the weight of your glory, God. Render us undone. Touch a call to our lips, God. I'm 
seconds, maybe even two seconds, what man can never do. And it's in his presence, guys. In his presence, there's healing. In his presence, there's refreshing and life and the breaking of chains. So press into the presence right now. There's everything you need in the presence. Let your presence come, God. Increase in this place. Hallelujah. I love. each time. I just want to um, share a little bit with what I feel like God is doing in the spirit. And there's a recalibration that's taken place. And this is something that we can do daily. And it's just lining up with the word. I want to read a scripture here for you. It's Luke chapter 8, verse 19. It says, Now Jesus' mother and brothers came to see him. 
but they were not able to get near him because of the crowd. And someone told him, your mother and your brothers are standing outside waiting to see you. And he replied, my, brother, my mother and my brothers are those who hear God's word and put it into practice. I used to always think that that was something that I had to do, one more thing that I had to do to be a Christian. And just recently dropped in my spirit and he says, no, 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 look at it this way. You're part of my family. You're part of my family. I was driving home at two o'clock in the morning last night in a charter bus, big old windshield, and I could see the beautiful moon and the scenery. And God began to speak to me. He hung the moon and the stars. He took the most powerful sun that you can imagine. He placed it there to keep us warm. It stays the same temperature. That's a big God. I was 16 years old. I was kicked out of the house. My dad said, I disown you. I walked across the field and I sat down in an in a empty shack and God spoke to me. My father, God spoke to me outside my head and said, I'm your father. No man will ever take the credit will get the glory for the things that I'm going to do in your life. Now, here's the thing. It's the word you know is the word that sets you free. And the Lord says, I'm giving you keys to the kingdom to open the doors. And it's my word. My word will never leave you. I'll never forsake you. I sent my Holy Spirit to bring to remembrance my word. And so the keys is to take the word speak it out loud continually because faith comes by hearing the word we hear it it drops in our spirit and it comes alive so we agree with the word of God today we agree with the word of God the word spoken over us the word spoken over this church the word spoken over this city we line up with the word of God and we say so be it done according to the word of God amen that's uh powerful living word and as the music continues we're going to have about three or four minutes of some pretty cool testimonies and then we're going to sing that last worship song for today but just stay in the spirit and hear the voice of God the life of God on these words so Lynn come on up here and Grace and Sarah come on up here yeah and Jonathan, come up here, and, and, and Sherry, back here, come up here. Just keep the music going, you guys. And uh, I'm going to hold the mic on this, but we're going to just, I was going to ask you a few questions about what God's doing in your life. You, just, you had an experience yesterday at, at the store. What happened? I was in Walmart, and um, I was walking down the aisle, and I heard somebody talking about Jesus. And I came around the aisle, and you know who John Mar Monroe is. I don't think he's here today. That's good, because I can now brag on him a little bit. I came around the aisle, and we were not in a back aisle hidden somewhere. We were in the very front aisle, in front of the front door, people streaming around him, and he was leading two young men to the Lord. And they were totally engrossed, and, t and I was listening as they were giving the invitation, and they were completely into it. And people were streaming around them, coming in the store, you know, kind of looking. But I was so blessed. I mean, beyond. There are so many people in this congregation that do so many things that we don't know about. They just do it because they love the Lord. And we are an evangelistic church. And I love that. And I just praise God. And just quickly, I just want to pray, Lord, bless this congregation to be even more so loving people and bringing souls to the Lord in the kingdom. Lord, as your eyes, the, the Bible says your eyes look to and fro all over the earth. And Lord, I ask as your eyes come over here, stop. Let your eyes stop and look at us because I know you can and still see everything else. And Lord, just look and give us, Lord, even a more, more strength and desire to see souls saved. Thank you. Beautiful. Over, uh, let's see, that was uh, um, two, you, saw, you witnessed two of 19 people that prayed to receive Christ on the streets yesterday. So 
This is a, what God is doing out there. Yeah, thank you, Lennon. And this is Sherry. And Sherry, how did you happen to visit New Song Church first? My sweet neighbor, Lady Patty, uh, invited me to down there. Is she filled with the Spirit? Oh, she is. She, is she attractive in God? Is she beautiful in God. Yeah. Your neighbor invited you to church? Yeah. How have you been enjoying church the last few weeks? It's been my fourth visit, and I feel, I feel different. I, I, I feel full. I, I feel different. I got you, you, something special happened to you last Sunday. What was it? Uh, uh, oh, I, I, yeah, I came up here to the firewall. This is, that was two weeks ago. You came up to the, uh, to the fire, the fire tunnel. And what happened there? I, I, I don't know how to explain it, but I, I, I couldn't feel my feet, you know, and I thought I was falling down and, and I just had these people talking to me and, positive experience I'm in love I'm in love with this Jesus Christ and that was the week before that was the week before uh, last Sunday when she asked Jesus into her heart to be saved so she started you started experiencing God before you even got saved <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> That's pretty cool and, and Sarah you want to give a testimony about about the revival in the Medford Chinese Church. Uh, what, one expression of it happened here recently. What's this New Song Church? And then, and then a testimony in Chinese. This is the equivalent of the Chinese Facebook in China. So this went to China. What, what happened there? What's that about? This was posted by Grace. Grace, wave at us. Thank you, thank you, thank you, yes. And so I have a translation here. I'm gonna read it to you. That the New Song Church is different from all the churches I have visited. Very relaxed. I'm grateful. The worship band's singers are professional with singing and dancing full of joy, and the Lord is with us. Thank you, God, for everything that you gave me. Hallelujah. <laughs> Can I share something? Well, we were just singing about His presence. And let me tell you, his presence is so real. It's so thick here in the house. And I just say that, you know, I want to pray that every heart, every heart be open, every spirit be open, be filled, be filled by him. Hooray. And this is Jonathan. And Jonathan, you and Melissa and your three kids been in worshiping with us, what, last couple months or so? Yeah, it's been a month and a half. A month and a half. And, and how did you first get acquainted with our church? Uh, the drummer Bob actually uh, was uh, evangelizing. At drummer Bob, Bob the evangelist, the drummer. He was out evangelizing and what happened? Um, they were just uh, evangelizing in the, just to say I'm really nervous, so. Um, they were evangelizing in, in Hawthorne Park as we were walking through going to Comic-Con and um, they, um, he just talked good about the church and said, we'd pick you up, so it was really cool. They gave you some food or something too, cool. Pizza and soda, yeah. That was great. And so they invited you to church. That was an important way to evangelize. And, and recently you asked Jesus into your heart on a Sunday morning here, didn't you, John? I did like three weeks ago, and then I kind of recommitted because I'm having tr trouble um, feeling God's presence. But... Would you like to have less struggle feeling God's presence? Stretch out your hand towards Jonathan. Let's pray for him right now. Holy Spirit, come in power on him and bless him. Thank you that you love him and he's your boy. You give him constant hugs. You're so for him and Melissa and their three kids. We love them, God. You love them, God. We guys also just say we love you, Jonathan, right now to him. Yeah, we do. God loves you. Feel your presence, Lord. Breakthroughs for experiencing your power, your anointing, and your glory. It's coming. More for Jonathan, God, and his family. Give the Lord a hand and stand up. And let's worship him with all of our hearts for his good things he's doing. A sample of the good things he's doing in people's lives in the cities of Southern Oregon. Thank you. 
great with Jack's work, guys. Grab the hand of the person next to you, stretch across the aisles. We're going to have a short prayer of agreement for some things. 
Jesus, we praise you. Stretch across the aisles. Make it just be family here. And uh, sweaty palms and all. It's all good. We praise you for this wonderful time in praise and worship today. The manifestation and revelation of your presence, King Jesus, in your infinite glory and beauty and wonder and love and smile, your supernatural joy that, that just emits from you and flows out from you to us, the continual baptism of the Holy Spirit you pour out on us, King Jesus, your constant love and forgiveness and your correctiveness that you even bring into our lives, this is all deeply appreciated. Praise you for pouring out the Holy Spirit on us, the bond that binds us to you, the Holy Spirit himself binds us to you, O oh God. And right now, in the name of Jesus, with the authority you've given the church, we agree with, with millions across this land to, to, uh, to stop Hurricane Irma. In the, um, your favor, God, and to calm the storms once again, King Jesus, and especially be with those of us that have relatives and friends in Florida right now. We declare your angelic protection over them and everyone else, God. For our sister Marty, for others, in the name of Jesus. Will you wave at me? Uh, raise up your hand real quick and wave at me if you've got friends or relatives in Florida right now. All across the auditorium, friends and relatives in Florida. We say safety and blessing on them. And in, as we pray there, we pray for the hur uh, hurricane of, of, uh, of Satan's attack on, in the world, particularly um, on, cu on Cuba, God. Amen. We pray for Cuba this month. We pray for the Jesus people in prison, for strength, and you release them, for you to raise up strong leaders in Cuba, for the training of fivefold ministry, for a flourishing of the king kingdom mindset and experience, and an out pouring of the Holy Spirit on the blood-bought ones in Cuba to advance the kingdom. We agree in prayer for our, for our brothers and sisters in the Forever family in Cuba on this day and in this month. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Give a hug, a handshake around before you have a seat today.